Hey guys, my name is Zeniac and welcome back to another pointless City Skyline experimental video where today I answer the question that nobody has ever asked, yo Zeniac! Is it possible to create an elevated city above water? Now this has kind of sparked from the idea of when we created a city underwater. Well if we create one on top of water, is it possible? Now you're probably thinking, uh, well yeah, just make an island. No, an island is not on water. Water is around the island. I literally want to try and create it on top of water. It's going to have its limitations due to the fact that, you know, to have buildings, you need land. But we're going to try and soldier on through this right now and see if it is possible. If you guys do enjoy this episode and want to see more pointless city skylight experimental videos, then make sure you do smash that like button down below. If you're new around here, then make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when that next episode does come out. And if you got any experimental videos you want me to try in the future, leave them as a suggestion in the comment section down below. So we have this um, very, very empty road that enters the region right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a small-ish town. Just a small-ish town that it's fully functional. And then slowly, step by step, we are then gonna elevate it, try and get as much of it hovering off the ground, and then place water underneath and see what happens. It should work perfectly fine. But this is probably going to be the biggest pain in your boy's life right now. So, first things first then, we need to build our beautiful little city. Uh, I've gone from building a small town to now a city. Sonia, what are you talking about? So if I bring this down by 30, bam, 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 bam. And I think we'll try and create somewhat of a, like a, a nice-ish pattern. Or, or, or not, who knows. We'll, we'll just kind of see what we're coming. Do you reckon that's big enough for a small little town? That should be fine, right? I think we'll be okay with this. Beautiful little town right there. Fun little design. Fun for all the family. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what we can get out of this then. So. So, 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 so. When it comes to making it elevated, I need to make all the roads elevated. But the problem with making a road elevated is you lose the ability to zone on it. So if I kind of quickly elevate all these roads... I do lose the ability to zone on these roads at that point because, again, they're not attached to land. So certain roads, we're going to have to technically not elevate but keep raised. Now, this is where the difficulty is going to lie in. So, apparently I can't now um, not elevate that, but we'll anarchy it in. So I'm going to pick a set of roads. So I pick you, you, and you. Pick you 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 and you and you you and you so then all the roads going that way are then technically elevated and this is be this will be the, the way that we get around it this will be the way that we get around it so let me quickly do all the water stuff and all that jazz i mean not like it's going to need water because you know it's going to be surrounded by water very soon but this is where the game limitations like fully come into effect. Now, when it comes to placing down water sources, this is also going to be interesting. I'll place a little water tower just here. So bring that over to there. Um, we do need sewage taken care of, but I'll do that in just a moment. So if I fill all this up there with residential, with residential, 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 and we'll do some commercial just here and then a little bit of industry just there. We'll try and squeeze a little bit. Oh, do I do these little edges as well? Right, do a little bit of commercial there and there, because I know we're probably going to need a lot of commercial. Actually, no, scrap them two there. We'll do more residential. Bam and bam. So, within the industrial side that we have set up here is where we can then squeeze in the stuff that kind of takes care of the city. So, I'm going to... This is a tough one. Sewage. Do I just go on and head and elevate the city right now and then dump sewage into the water, or do I create like a little bit of a basin? Um, because they are quite large, these basins. So I think, you know what, we'll just kind of utilize a basin right now. What is, is it noise pollution it, it causes? It, yeah, it is noise pollution. So if I drop you just there real quick. And bam. We'll do then the garbage real quick. And we'll do a recycling center. It's just noise pollution again. Which they're not going to like it, but hey ho. It is what it is. So all I need right now then is some power. 
And do I just do wind turbines for the sake of it? Alright, we drop a couple of wind turbines for now. And we've got all the basics about the services like healthcare and police and all that kind of jazz. We've got the basics that that's pretty much required to turn this into a small working town. Now, not everything is elevated, but we've got certain roads that are elevated right now. We have to elevate this all ourselves. Now, this is probably not going to turn out very well. But the question is, can we create an elevated city? Ah, well, we're going to try our best, guys. Now, we also need to elevate this road that leads all the way out as well. So, if I get this highway right now, which I've got to make sure it's the correct one. It's actually this one here, isn't it? The two-way. Is it that one? Yeah. The two-way. Going to make sure it's elevated as well. Because as soon as the water comes, we can't have this in the water. It's going to be shocking. How long is this road? Okay, it's not too far right now. Ooh, that's interesting. So we can't elevate that last little bit, but hopefully we can create a ramp and they'll be all a-okay. So, oh, death care. Okay, let me handle the death care real quick. Um, we'll squeeze... Um, <laughs> we'll squeeze just there, the death care. And so we are going to need services. There's no way about it. We're going to need services. Um... Right, I don't want to merge them everywhere, but if I have to, then I'm going to have to. Right, that should be it. Right, they've got everything that they need right now. Oh, damn. Already destruction on the go? But they've got everything that they need. Everything that they need right now to pretty much thrive as a small town. Now, what I'm going to do, I won't elevate the road just yet, but we'll now select the majority of this town to this point. And we'll elevate it up. Now, some roads are going to work, as you can see. But some areas, not so much. Not so much. But the higher you elevate it, as you can now see, the more jagged those edges then become. So, you, there is areas where it is elevated. When they start building something here, it's going to then also elevate up. And you've got the roads that do kind of pop up too. There's only so much you can actually try and get away with in this kind of experiment. Because you need land to be able to get that all up and running. But for the most part, technically, yes. <laughs> it is slowly becoming elevated right now. So we can also then go on to add additional roads. So by keeping it all elevated and all keeping it at the same height as well. So I want it to... What height is that? Do we know? It's apparently... Why, oh, again, that's the reason it's not elevating. Because I'm, I'm slipping on the wrong mode. There's actually 10 in the air right now. Interesting. So if I just get all this now connected... And just kind of go around the recon a little bit... With our elevations... You can kind of see how the city is then going to evolve. It, it feels really weird. It feels like I shouldn't be doing this. I don't know why. It just feels really, really weird right now. Right now. So if I bring this down. So that... Oh, I've kind of just merged the, like, the thing station through it. So, it's a bit funky. I think what I'll do, I'll delete this there. It's definitely very funky. But that's the best you can do. Because you still need land to technically make it be a part. And for stuff to build upon it. You can't really get away too much with it. But it's when the water comes is where everything changes. Because even though everything's e elevated, it's the, everything else. Like, is it possible to still have fully functional water sources and wind turbines. Even though they're going to be... So freaking elevated into the sky. So if I select all of them. Yeah, we got that settled as well. And then align these to the object height of you. Oh no, what have I done? I pressed the wrong button, I think. There we go. I think I pressed the wrong button there for a second. So to object height of you. There we go. 
So I've now made the wind turbines extra tall in the air. And you can see this because, oh, hey, hold on. The line there of the concrete post that they all kind of stand on increases up. So I've technically created wind turbines that are going to be in the ocean. You know those ocean turbines that you can get? Pretty much the same thing, just a little bit cheaper. <laughs> just raise them higher and higher. But I don't know what's going to happen when we throw the water in. I really, really don't know. Now, we've still got quite a bit of residential demand. There's not really much I can squeeze in for it. I could maybe rezone that there to residential. And that's how you can see then once something builds in, you see how it pretty much changes. Which is interesting. It is definitely interesting. Now... You can't get rid of that little segment there because this part of the road is also elevated. Can't get away with it. But I think we're pretty much ready then to add some water in. So, if I then sort the sea level out, which if I bring right up... Now, it'd be a little bit difficult to kind of try and do this right now, so I want to try and bring it right to the edge of the road. But I know it's going to class some stuff then as technically flooding. But that... Oh my goodness me. Right, I'll give it a minute or two to kind of sort itself out. Because when... This is the problem. When a building builds, it's going to then make land appear here. Which is then going to go on to cause flooding. So it's indirectly going to flood itself. Like we just had this building pop up here. Which means all the water inside slowly floods itself. So, they're not helping themselves. They're not helping themselves, but everything works beautifully. And it looks like we've technically built a elevated... Wow, this looks amazing. It looks like we've built an elevated town right now. Now, can we utilize... You can see, like, the void there. I wonder if we can... Um... Oh, did another little area built? I think so. Right, hold on. Let's try and fill these little gaps in. So what I think I'll do is I'll replace them with some residential. Just so it all gets placed in. And, oh. I'll do some residential there, even though it's in the industrial area. But hey, ho, it should all get placed in right now. And then uh, we'll just wait for the flood to disappear. But when we got this little kind of little bit of land here, can we get away with it by kind of painting it with concrete? Like, if I paint it with concrete, does it then look like it's not part of the land? You can kind of hide the land in, in a way. Does that work? I don't know if it works or not, but let me... Let me I mean, it's not going to make it any worse. Let's just be honest. It's not going to make it any worse. Um, the problem only becomes... When you try to... Do these edges here where the residential area is does it look like it's part of it at this point i think it looks really cool that we have like this elevated town it's really weird isn't it <laughs> i don't know why but i find it's really really weird that it kind of it kind of works but at the same time it kind of doesn't does it it kind of doesn't but we have everything elevated and the only sad thing is every time a building disappears and a new one appears, they then flood themselves. So it's like, you best not leave this city. If you do, you're going to flood everybody. But it's like, I want to leave. I want to move to a place on land. And then they move out and then someone moves in and then floods everybody. And it's like, oh my goodness me, we need someone to move into this area so we don't get flooded. Someone moves in, flooding happens. Why did you move in? You've caused flooding. It's just a never-ending vicious cycle. Do you know what this reminds me of? Now, I don't know if any of you guys have played, like, old school roller coaster tycoon. Back in the, uh, I mean, I don't want to um, make myself sound super old right now. But in the early 2000s, I remember playing, like, roller coaster tycoon on, like, a, my, my parents' really old PC. And there was a level on there where you had to build a theme park on an elevated, on, on like, um, like a pier. Like an elevated pier above water, and you had to kind of build a roller coaster, a theme park around it, meaning all the rides had to be elevated, all the paths had to be elevated, and because um, you had no land. It kind of reminds me of this when you kind of go down that road when you build it like this. Now, I wonder if to get rid of I was obviously hiding this, if I also then, if I came out by, oh, this is really high. Why, why is this so high? 
It was only it was only plus ten, wasn't it? I had to go by. Yeah. If I came out like this, you kind of hide the pillars, don't you? For some reason, that's really 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 high. Maybe I didn't do it right. Who knows? So, I lines object height there. So you kind of hide the pillars that way. You don't then see them, so it makes it all seem like it's elevated. In a weird way. That just goes really mental when you then start to add new roads in. But you can't really build anything else. And I think that is then the downside of this whole elevated city. It is the downside, isn't it? Now I could... I could... And this is interesting right now. Is then add in like um, some boats or something like that. So if I got in... Oh, that's way too big, isn't it? So you can't... A shoreline is required to place this in. So you can, you can, I mean, I could do it there, but all the roads in the way. I don't know. I like the idea of having this this road going out of here right now. Could you imagine living here? It'd be the world's worst place to live, wouldn't it? The world's worst place to live. But if you ever wanted to know if you can build an elevated city, you kind of can, but at the same time, you kind of can't. Could you imagine building a full-on city with this method? Having it all elevated above the water? I mean, you could sell every property with a sea view. Property prices would be going through the roof. They really will. Sea view for every resident. And every everyone has a has has the sea in their back garden. Like the water's just down there. It's like a little miniature canal system, isn't it? But don't move out though, guys. Because if you move out and someone moves in, you're going to flood everybody else out. So no, once you once you move here, you can never leave. And on that note, guys, we're going to end it here. It's a weird one. It kind of works, but it kind of doesn't. It's more just elevated roads. But do with this answer as you will. Can you create an elevated seat above water? Hmm... The jury's still out on this one. The jury's still out. But next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So, good.